Hello everybody, this is Ice Blood. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 13. It really feels like we're at the end of a chapter, which is odd since we're technically in chapter 2 already. But this feels like the end of the opening, I think. I think I think we're getting really close to that. So, yet again, uh, same disclaimer as always. Go ahead and pause the video here if you want to read this summary. Uh, so that you can see where we are, just in case. Maybe it's been a while. I don't know. And then we will get things going. Right now. <laughs> just wanted to make sure the whole thing was finished loading. So, right, we are in Anima's Throne, or Anima's Throne. This feels like the final area of this first dungeon, so let's get to it. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like these whites here... I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think that you have to kill the enemies before them so like you have to get rid of any enemies other than them before you fight them I could be out of my mind I'm not sure but this is basically the final gauntlet before we face off with uh, what's going to be our first boss five potions always useful uh, this uh, this particular installment's very past past face listen to me very fast paced which means of course not only do we attack quickly but so do enemies so potions are always nice to have having three characters is definitely helpful oh maybe I was wrong maybe it's just they have a high evasion stat or something uh, I was testing a few things before and I fought these guys and I could swear that that was how it worked that you had to kill off uh, any like land based enemies before the whites would come close enough or however it works that's how I thought it worked but apparently it's just they have a high evasion stat let's take you down what are they called again? ghasts okay so collectively this race of beings are they're called or is called Seath uh, no matter what we're fighting they're all called Seath but they have different types and it looks like uh, these guys are slightly more durable than the first ones that we came across. And I think the, the whites probably are uh, a, a type of Seath as well. I think pretty much we're nearing the Fall Sea, it seems like, uh, based on what the story's telling us. So probably that's why we're surrounded by so many of these Seath guys. I meant to go that way to check on Sarah. I was I didn't go backwards on purpose. Or wait, I did I didn't it I'm easily lost. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. So this is the foul sea. Oh look at that. I called it. <laughs> Here's the foul sea. So what is a foul sea? It's like a big ass machine. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it! You got what you want! Now let her go! Are these things sentient? If they are, they don't seem interested Please. in talking. Turn her back! I'll be your Lucy instead! Fine. What's weird about this situation... There's a bit of a discrepancy between the emotive power of Snow's voice versus his face. I think it's a graphical thing. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. Like a technological limitation or something. Uh-oh. See, Lightning, this is what happens when you just up and threaten gigantic death machines. They don't like it. 
Oh boy, here we go. So, like I said, first boss fight. Here we go. We're going to fight the Pulse Foul C. At least I think that's what this is. I assume there's only one. But I assume that this is it. Yep, we pissed it off. See again, Vanil seems to know more than she lets on. That reaction was not someone ignorant. Someone who's ignorant of the circumstances is basically what I mean. Ha ha ha, that's what you get for running away! He's gonna try. Dodge. What's this now? Whoa. Uh -oh. Yeah. As long as you don't mind an amateur. I like it. All right, here we go. Oh, now she has her proper weapon. Alright. So here it is. We are fighting Anima. Now, Anima is a reference, I believe, this is the first one I know of, uh, a, a summon, or what are they called in, uh, in, in Final Fantasy X, I believe. Um, Anima is the summon from one of the bosses. Uh, and it's a very powerful one, actually. And I think that's what this is a reference to. Now, Anima could have been something from an earlier game. I'm actually not sure. Uh, basically, I've played 6 through 14. So, it could have been from any of the earlier ones. I'm actually not sure. But what I remember Anima from is certainly 10. It was one of the most powerful and disturbing summons in the entire game. So, that's a nice little touch that it's using the same names. I think Final Fantasy is known for that. Certainly I've seen it in 14, and it's no surprise that I'm seeing it here. So, as you can see, this is a pretty simple multi-stage fight. Uh, killing, or hitting rather, this thing while its manipulators are still around is dangerous, so you want to kill the manipulators first, but then um, after a while uh, they will respawn, and you have to do it again. So. So you see they're initiating regeneration. Immediately after its its arms, its manipulators are gone, it will start initiating regeneration. But that also means it won't attack. That's what it was doing before. That's why it's dangerous to do while the manipulators are up, because it has time to react. It has time to retaliate. Right now it does not. Okay. So now, now it's a bad idea to hit it. So we're going to hit the manipulators again. And it's basically rinse and repeat. Kill the manipulators, then hit the main boss, then hit the manipulators again when they show up uh, after being regenerated. Pretty simple, but more complex than the fights we've had before. So, kind of a good tutorial boss, I suppose. We don't have to worry much about our defenses, we just have to have a potion every once in a while, and that's it. So, not, not really anything that will lend itself to anybody, you know, dying a lot or something. Okay, back to the manipulators. Let's use a potion. Let's make sure we don't die. That will not be good. Projection. I don't know the specifics of what its attacks do. It's not doing us too badly, but we're just about done. This should be the last. Yep. There it is. And I think Snow is standing on nothing. Well, four out of five for our first boss, I guess, isn't too bad. We got the doctor's code. Hmm. Okay, so we killed the Pulse Falci. What happens now? Where are we? Detroit? This can only end well. What are these things? I 
Oh, so now it has a face. That's not disturbing at all. Well, thanks, Lightning. You're the one who pissed it off. Snow is just talking to it. Snow is trying to negotiate. You're the one that hit it. Uh-oh. Is that what I think it was? Very interesting lighting right now. Very dark, very... Very moody. Whoa. What the hell? Well, um, I'm sure it's supposed to do that. I'm sure there's no real problem. Everything's going according to plan. Uh, yeah. Well, I will say this. Um, Snow wanted to change up the status quo. He certainly did that. Holy shit. The army's no match for Nora. And I was afraid. When the future was clear and it hurt to see, I'd just close my eyes and lose myself in happier days. Okay, well, it's a little short, but this seems like an opportune time to close out the video, so we're going to save and see what happened to everybody next time. Bye-bye.